So, here we are. Attrition is a belief or a behavior that's passed down through generations that usually carries a special significance or a symbolic meaning. I guess I'd say it's chiefly broken up into specific groups that you as an individual can identify with. So for example, uh, there are family traditions, religious traditions, cultural traditions, geographical traditions, and then with each one of those groups there's uh, subtypes like traditions involving food, fashion, art, music, etc. The study of tradition is a big part of anthropology, the social science of humankind. So if you find this discussion interesting and you really want to get into a academic discourse that breaks this topic down, I would start there. Whether that's picking up a book on the subject or taking an anthro class at your local college. Also keep in mind that these lists and points that we're going over here are by no means exhaustive. This is just a conversation starter, something to encourage the exchange of ideas. I guess I'm curious whether or not they're a healthy practice, uh, if it's something that's, you know, good or bad, or somewhere in between. To start with, let's look at the pros. You've got repetition. Combined accomplishment breeds some level of mastery. When generations of people have been doing something over and over, they really understand the nuances and subtleties of that behavior. Up to that point, the collective accomplishment of the group has been creating this pool of knowledge that the current generation can draw from, allowing them to successfully carry on this uh, tradition. So another pro to consider is uh, unification. People are on the same page striving for the same thing. When there's a common action being repeated generation after generation, the process in which it's approached has been laid out. Expectations are mutually understood. With set standards and guidelines, miscommunication becomes less of a problem. A third pro is uh, accountability. Within tradition, because expectations have been laid out, thus unifying people, it becomes easier to hold each other accountable for discrepancies in that pattern. In a group that values some type of tradition, someone who goes against the uh, set standards immediately sticks out more than if they were in a group that values modernity. Uh, cons. The cons of tradition. Uh, for one, uh, it's a little stifling. Depending on the stringency of the tradition, it can smother innovative ideas. Uh, this point goes hand in hand with accountability as there would be pressure to maintain a certain standard and not deviate to unknown territory because of established procedures. In a society that values tradition, pioneers of discovery have to be okay with stepping outside of the established methodology in order to make advancements and have to really be committed to their cause because they're a minority. Conversely, in a society where progress trumps tradition, the atmosphere is more nurturing for these advancements, thus encouraging their formation. Another, another con when talking about tradition is uh, complacency. From personal experience, but also from uh, observation, I find that tradition creates a mindset where people become comfortable with being comfortable. Now, I'm not saying that being comfortable or content is a bad thing, but if your decisions begin to get influenced based on whether or not you'll feel uncomfortable as a result, the envelope is never pushed and no new ground is uh, reached. A third con of tradition could be um, mobbing, I guess is, is what you would call it. With established traditions, when you identify yourself with one, you get all the baggage that's tied with it. My reservation here is in the propensity for people to pick sides, not because they have logically arrived at that conclusion themselves, but because they find the identity associated with it appealing. This creates division as people feel committed to their choice since they have identified themselves as part of that tradition and want to continue belonging even perhaps after the initial reason for adopting it has evaporated. Everyone loves belonging to a group, uh, just knowing that somebody has your back. It's just that if the tradition influences your ability to arrive at that conclusion yourself, then it seems a little backwards. Hey, thanks again for watching. My name is Nader, and uh, that was a short video on traditions.